Hey YouTube, these are the tires that we're going to be using on the rock bouncer. First thing I'm going to do is put these screws in the tires wheels to finish up the bead locks. Again, these tires came from Entergy. As you can see, they come with all these little screws that have to be put into each tire. And we're talking about seventeen or so screws and two tires. So let's get started. We have small ones, very small, and we have larger ones. So we can put the larger ones go on the outside of the wheel, smaller ones go on the inside of the wheel. Get our trusty tool. Find the right size for the inter small ones. And as you can see, Little bitty screws. But they do go in quite easily. Which is good. These tires seem to be well made. I really like the look of the wheel. Not too bad looking. Now we'll put in the bigger screws on the outside of the wheel. You have to excuse my sniffles. Here in Louisiana this time of year, allergies can really be bad. <clears throat> and mine are bad. And there you go, finished product. They look nice. They look nice. I'm not gonna bore you with their other four or three. So I'll do those off camera and we'll get back to you as soon as I get back or finish that part of the job. All right, as you can see, the hub cover or cover for the hub that fits in the center of the wheel you have to remove all of these little screws to take that hub off that could be a pain if you have to change tires but it does look cool and I just spent five minutes putting all those screws in all those tires and now I gotta remove them all to get the hubs off so that I can put the tires onto the axles so just a lesson learned if you get these tires do not put all those little screws in of course you may be smarter than I am may have figured that out but I put all the screws in now I got to take them all out Entity was good enough to give you extra screws in case you lose some on the trail so that's a good thing 